Hi, I'm Fiona from DIY Digital. In this video, we're going to look at the What You See Is What You Get editor, which is part of most page builders in most WordPress sites. Firstly, log into your site. The first thing you see when you log into your site is the dashboard. On the left hand side of the dashboard is the top level column of tasks you can do. The most common task you'll want to do on your website is to update your pages. You can see the pages link on the left hand side here. Click on all pages. Here you can see a list of the pages that you have on your site. We're going to use the home page for this tutorial. To edit the page you click on edit underneath the name of it. Now I do recommend you always have your actual site up in a different tab or window when you are editing pages as this way you can flick between your edit screen and your actual live screen and you can see how it's affecting your page live. In the last video we explored how the rows are set up and how they operate in different sites. In this video we'll explore the what you see is what you get editor within the page builder itself. Here the wrench icon will take us to edit the row, but as a beginner the advice is to stay away from this, just leave it as it is. This is the edit you want to click on. Here's the what you see is what you get editor. Pretty familiar isn't it? You can bold, italic, insert a link, centre your text and a whole range of things. Over here is the what you see is what you get editor in the visual editor. Pretty similar, huh? While I'm here, I want to draw your attention to these two tabs, visual and text. And over on our Avada theme, things look a little bit different. By clicking on the Builder Elements button, there are a range of tools similar to what is available in the what you see is what you get editor, and quite a few more. This is a drag and drop style editor. If we scroll down a little, we can see the edit pen tool for our column within the container. Within our text box, we also have an edit pen tool. And when we click on this, we get taken to a simple what you see is what you get editor. Back to the origin side editor. Let's bold some text. We highlight our text and click on bold, just like you would in a Word document. How about inserting a link? Well, that's this chain icon right here. I'm just using Control C and Control V to copy and paste a URL address into this field. I could apply this or I can look at the settings to see what other options I have. Here it brings up a list of pages within my website. Click on Done, click Update, go over to my live site and refresh the browser. And the changes are done. Now we're going to visit the Text tab. Here we can see the code for Strong. There is an open code and a closed code either side of the paragraph. We can see how this looks in the visual tab. Now that I've satisfied your curiosity, my advice is not to go into the text tab. Not as a beginner anyway. Over time you may wish to learn how the coding works, but in the first instance stick with the visual tab. But one button I do want to show you is a toggle switch called the kitchen sink. Here it is in action. Toggle it and you see more or less of your editor. That's it for the What You See Is What You Get editor. Good luck with your site and please do visit us at diydigital.com.au.